Hi, in our previous session we learned to figure out probability based on coin experiment. Today we'll solve a problem based on the same. So here's the problem. Two coins are tossed simultaneously. Find the probability of getting one, exactly one tail, two, exactly two heads, three, at most one tail, four, at least one head. Now before starting to solve the problem, let me just repeat and figure out what the problem is trying to say. So this is going to be our first step which is nothing but the simplification of the problem step. Here we will try to simplify the problem as much as possible. So we can clearly see we are dealing with two coins over here. So the first information we know is we are given two coins. Second part of the question says find the probability. So we have to find something over here. So we are going to write after what we have been given, what we need to find out. Particularly in this question, we can see we have been provided with four events, which will require to find the probability of. And we'll write all the four events in this particular section. All right, these are the things that are given and we need to find out. Now, we shall proceed to isolate the kind of formula we are going to use in order to solve this question because then only we'll be able to go in the right direction. So step two is going to be the choosing of formula. Now we have already learned the formula to find probability of any event involves the ratio between the number of favorable outcomes of an event to the total possible outcomes. And we already know we denote probability of any event with PE and whatever event we are going to consider will be the event E in this case. All right. We know the formula to find the probability of any event, but do we know all the elements? Do we know the numerator and the denominator? Let's check. We can find total possible outcomes of two coins by a formula we studied earlier as 2 raised to power n, where 2, which is the base, are nothing but number of outcomes in the event of tossing a coin, that is heads and tail. And since we are going to toss two coins, so the power is going to be also two, that is two square, which is equal to four. So there are total four possible outcomes. Now, the number of favorable outcomes is what we require. And this is going to be all the sub questions. So whatever is being asked in those sub questions are the favorable outcomes we need to figure out. Now we know the denominator, but we don't know the numerator, that is number of favorable outcomes. So once we find it out, we'll be able to substitute those values in the formula. So step three is going to be the substitution step. So let's take the first sub question, which was to find the probability of getting exactly one tail. We just now used a faster method to find total possible outcomes. But in order to find the outcomes where we get exactly one tail, we need to list down all the outcomes. And we have already learned that when we are tossing two coins, we actually get total of four possible outcomes. Now out of these, we have to see which are the outcomes where we get exactly one tail. We can see we get exactly one tail in outcome number two and three. So these are the two favorable outcomes in this case. So now we'll substitute the same in the formula. That is number of favorable outcomes divided by the total possible outcome and we get 2 upon 4. So we can see we can further simplify this ratio if we further divide numerator and denominator by 2. So this particular step is going to be the calculation step which comes directly after the substitution. So if we are going to divide by 2 we get the ratio of 1 upon 2. But our job doesn't end just at this step. After we have calculated the answer, we have to conclude it. So step five is going to be the conclusion step. And how are we going to conclude for this particular sub question? We can say probability of getting exactly one tail while tossing two coins is one by two. Now we'll follow the same steps and we'll try to calculate probabilities of all the sub questions. Second sub question was to find exactly two heads. So which is the outcome out of the four possible outcomes where we find exactly two heads? And that's the first outcome. So we have only one outcome favoring exactly two heads. Now by applying the formula, we get the ratio one upon four, 
because there is only one outcome favoring exactly two heads out of the four possible outcomes. So we don't have any calculation step in this particular question. So the final step is going to be the conclusion. We can conclude that the probability of getting exactly two heads while tossing two coins is 1 by 4. Now let's move on to the third sub question. We've been asked to find probability of getting at most one tail. So what is the meaning of this at most? When we hear this term, we would say it is nothing but the maximum limit that is given to us. And the maximum limit in this question is 1 which means the outcome should have maximum one tail or lesser than that. So we can write lesser than one or equal to one in this form. So let's see which are the outcomes where we have at most one tail. We can quite clearly see that there is no tail in this. We can see that there is only one tail in the second and the third outcome. And there are two tails in the fourth outcome. And since we need to find maximum of one tail in an outcome or lesser than that, so we are going to include these three and we are going to exclude the fourth possibility, which means we have total three favorable outcomes. So if we are going to substitute the same in the formula, we will know that the number of favorable outcomes are three and four is the total possible outcomes. So the ratio is three upon four. Now this is the best way we can represent it without changing it into decimals. So now let us conclude it. The probability of finding at most one tail while tossing two coins is 3 upon 4. Similarly, let's solve the fourth sub question that is finding the probability of getting at least one head. So when we say at least, we can say we are talking about minimum limit and the minimum limit over here is one, which means we have to find more than one or equal to one, but not lesser than one. So let's see where we can find a minimum of one head or more than one head. We can see that there are two heads in the first outcome, one head in the second and the third outcome, and there are no heads in the fourth outcome, but we need to find at least one head or more. So we have one head in the first outcome, in the second and in the third, but we don't have it in the fourth. So we are going to include the first three outcomes. So these are going to be the three favorable outcomes. And if we substitute the same in the formula, we'll get again three upon four. And we can conclude about this problem that the probability of finding at least one head while tossing two coins is three upon four. So all the sub questions have been solved. Let's go back and have a look at all the steps all over again. So that's it for today. Hope you have liked this session. You can also now check out our courses available on our website www.letstude.com. Until next time, keep watching, keep learning. If you want more such sessions, then do subscribe to our channel. 